today I'm going to do the British tag because surprisingly enough one of the most frequently asked questions on my channel is are you British and yes I am and I'm proud I just happen to be living in Germany at the moment so I've just got the questions up the British tag and there are 12 questions and um, yes so I need to film this quickly before the building work starts again because I've been having eight hours of building work going on outside my flat and it's a lot of drilling but it's quiet for a second so I need to get this done before any noise starts again. First question, how many cups of tea do you have a day and how many sugars? Um, this varies greatly depending on my mood. I either drink no tea or I drink five or six cups of tea. There is no middle ground so I either drink none of the tea or I drink all of the tea. Um, and how many sugars? I have one sweetener, one of the little tablety things, or half a teaspoon of stevia, because um, I like it sweet. Then the next question is, favorite part of your roast? Hmm, that's a tough one. Favorite part of a roast dinner. I'm gonna have to say the Yorkshire pudding. They are pretty tasty and I kind of miss them. You know, might have to make myself turn in the hole at some point. Favorite dunking biscuit? I don't like dunking biscuits in my tea. I want to say it's a northern thing, dunking biscuits in your tea, but I'm not entirely sure. But I don't like dunking biscuits in my tea. I don't want to get to the bottom of my tea and have soggy bits of crumb at the bottom. Mm -mm, not for me. So, so none of them. None of them. I don't dunk biscuits in my tea. I just drink my tea and eat the biscuits. Favourite quintessentially British pastime? That's a tough one. Drinking tea, obviously, is up there. I am a fan of Morris dancing, because you know, that's hilarious and quite funny. Complaining about the weather, that's a quintessentially British pastime that I indulge in frequently. And it's gloriously sunshine, so it's sunshine. It's gloriously sunny, so I will be going for a walk later. Favorite word. Hmm, this is tough. I've got quite a few favourite words. I'm a bit of a language nerd and I do like words. Um, obelisk is a good word. Spatula is really satisfying. Lugubrious is also a really good word. I'm a fan. Cockney rhyming slang. Well, the only ones I know is like apple and pears, is stairs, skin and blister, sister, dog and bone, phone, butcher's hook, look other than that i don't know i'm not from london though so i don't mind your favorite sweet um i really enjoy chocolate as a general rule cadbury's chocolate is incredible Kit Kat chunkies are the best maltesers i miss maltesers since moving here i really miss maltesers since moving here what would your pub be called now i had a look at these questions before and i've been thinking about this quite a lot my pub would be called the corner of craft and it would sell craft beer Yes. I don't drink beer, but I couldn't think of what else I'd name it. My number one British person. Like, I'm gonna have to say the Queen. I'm gonna have to say the Queen. It would be rude if I didn't say the Queen. Favourite shop slash restaurant. That's really hard as well. Like, I'm a fan of Nando's, but I don't think that is British. Favourite shop. I do miss looking around New Look, I'm not gonna lie. Um... I'm trying to think of shops that I miss. Wilkinson's. I really miss Wilkinson's, but I wouldn't say that's my favourite shop. What British pop song... Oh, what British song pops into your head? Well, as I read it, I was thinking Land of Hope and Glory. Like, I know it should... I know I should be thinking of the national anthem, but Land of Hope and Glory just happened, so I'm going with it. Land of Hope and Glory, Mother of the Free, How shall we extol thee? And then the final question is Marmite. And I dislike Marmite. I do not like it. It is gross. The thing here is you either love it or you hate it. I'm not a fan of it. But I like Twiglets, which basically taste like Marmite. So I'm not quite sure how that works. But I don't like Marmite. But yes, that was the British tag because I am British. I just live in Germany right now. It's very confusing. Very confusing. I'm so pleased that the drilling didn't start again whilst I was filming this video. Huzzah! 
But yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Your support means the world to me and why not hit subscribe? I post crafty tutorials every single Sunday and then I post bonus videos like this one in the week as well. Don't forget to check out the description box below if you want to participate in this tag. Let me know, I wanna see it. And links to all of my social media can be found in the description box as well, so feel free to follow me on there and this natural lighting situ is very annoying. Thank you very much once again for watching and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Hannah and today is it time for another plan with me. Not done one of these in a while. This is the week that I have just planned that you're going to see me plan. It's like a tea and cake theme. Very exciting. So let's just get on with the plan with me, shall we? Okie dokie.